Oh, right. I have no idea. Styx? Sturix? I have no idea how to pronounce his name, and I have no idea why you pick Cumans on islands. And nor did Red in this situation. When I saw this in the Discord send in my recorded games chat, I couldn't believe what I was reading. And it said something in the nature of, I'm 1100 ELO. And <laughs> I accidentally picked Cumans on island. So you know what that means. No, I don't. What does that mean? Well, it said that he went for four times ranges with the Cumans on the opponent's island. I really hope he goes for some, uh, some T90 plays and actually ends up going on the neutral <laughs> island with his ranges. And then just ships them over by means of transport. That would be... Awesome and in the great a pretty standard pick for islands. We have Domo 2091 and Domo is playing as well the Vikings Wish that this was Hillfort so I could see some more Viking longboats, but I, I guess you can't have everything in life I'm going to speed this up. I'm quite curious what the build order here is going to be, or if there's any build order, to say the least. I mean, he's probably just... Ooh, okay. Little Palisades to slow down that boar. Cool, cool, cool. Chill, chill, chill. Getting house. It happens. Going for a dock. Now, in order to produce archers continuously, you need to have a total of 16 on gold and 8 on on wood that's for four ranges for one range it's four on gold and two on two wood just saying might be useful at some point oh he's actually fish booming interesting there's the transport uh, is gray not fish booming this is islands he's ha Oh, he's realized. <laughs> so this is the first time I saw this game, and I was just, oh my goodness. He, I thought for a second he was actually going to do what I just said and construct four archery ranges on the neutral island. That would have been hilarious. Oh, he can definitely see. Yeah, okay. So he knows that's way too close. He needs to go somewhere on like the edge of the island to make this work. And also fish booming behind us. You don't need that much food. I don't. I mean, at this point, you have such a great eco. You don't even need to go for an all-in archer play here. You can simply have your fish collect the food that you need to go to castle, and then you could construct four archery ranges, keep producing archers, get fletching, get padded armor. I mean, this could actually be somewhat of a reasonable strat oh he can't see that he's right next to gray's wood line i'm just so surprised that there's no docks one dock one dock and your vikings you should um Okay, I'm trying to make sense of all of this. I think this fishing ship is going around. It's a cruise ship, okay? Going around to find fellow fishing ships to then... Oh, he knows. He knows now. He knows that there's been a landing of some sort because there's a scout here from Red. Uh, I think the idea is simply to find your opponent's fishing ship and then take them down. And then because you have handcart, you might have a better food economy in the long term and you don't i i have no idea i have no idea but actually gray is faster to castle oh, only three ranges come on me dude oh the, the pressure's already here I'm gonna go for knights it seems like as vikings okay 1100 you do you man nothing wrong with playing the game how you want to play this but this tc i can tell you right now is not going to be going up anytime soon so important to get fletching it really allows you to kill these villagers a lot faster 
Oh, gotta get that one that's sniping your duders. Also, Gray, where are your military buildings, man? Only now constructing a barracks with all this pressure right on your face? I don't think that is the right decision. Denied this TC for the time being. And with all of those fishing ships, it's not impossible. Yeah, too much on uh, on wood here and not enough on gold. The, you, you need to be aware of the key numbers. And of course, he's going to go back for that TC. I don't know. I still think this game is in favor of Grey. I know that there's been a lot of pressure from Red. But a couple of knights, especially with padded armor and bloodlines. Oh, wait. That's why I was like, well, Vikings. Vikings don't get bloodlines. For those of you who don't know, Vikings don't get bloodlines and they don't get husbandry. Actually, they don't even get paladins. So that's why I was quite confused. They, they also don't get the final armor upgrade oh it's chain boarding not padded all right poop just just go home man just go home at this point oh wait we're already home i do love casting games that you guys send in but man do you guys send me some weird stuff where did all those archers go oh just absolutely <laughs> wait no now we're going into uh Gray doesn't know the decision that he's going for. You're, you're going for the unit that is countered by the unit that your opponent already possesses a large quantity of. Interesting. Also, knights without bloodlines, without too many defense upgrades, they're going to get absolutely shredded by these archers. Wasn't producing to get castled. That makes sense to me. 17 archers. There need to be way more archers out with this strategy. And also, if you're realizing that you're floating this much wood, make sure that you're converting that wood into gold somehow. One of the ways that you can do that is by constructing a market and just selling it. I, I know you don't want to do market abuse and blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. It's worth it. Look at this little pumpkin head over here. Yeah, he's dying pretty quick. He already lost 30 HP for basically free. And micro this just a tiny bit and you wouldn't have even... Well, maybe he would have still lost that one archer, but... Pfft, one archer, four knight, I'll take that any day of the week. Actually, he could get so many archers out that he could actually take down some of these TCs. Would actually be totally worth getting a siege workshop as soon as he's up to Castle Age. Backfish... Where, where was that little, um, where's that little tourist boat? Never found Red's fish, and Red has had uncontested fish for the longest time. I don't know, man. Oh, no! That's the biggest fear that you can have going Kuman Archers, is running into that TC fire. Man, oh, man. Is that painful to see? Ooh, that's a lot of knights for only seven archers to handle. But there's more archers over here. 27 archers if he gets all of them together. And with knights coming out, you definitely want to have all of those archers together. I think he double-clicked his archers, and that's why they're over here. The best thing to do, I think, if you are trying to do a crazy strategy like this, is to kind of micro them back. So fire, move back. Fire, move back. Fire, move back. Uh, that seems to get the most value out of your archers. Love the Siege Workshop here. I think that's a very good decision from Red. To, uh, do I have to say his name? Sticks, st Strix to do. And I think you can actually start outranging this TC as well. They get the second... Uh, oh man, I'm drawing so many blanks today. The second attack upgrade called... Botkin Arrow. I wanted to say Ballistics. I really, really wanted to say Ballistics there. And even though the Villager count is completely even, there's nothing that Grey can do. All of Grey's eco is completely idle. And I guess that's how you Kuman Archer Rush on islands 
question mark? I don't think this works on, <laughs> on higher elos, but I really did enjoy watching this game. I hope you guys did as well, and I really do love casting the games that you guys send in. I don't upload all of these games to YouTube. I try and be selective, but when I see you guys implementing the strategies that I cast on my channels, I might be a little bit biased. Maybe I shouldn't have uploaded this one. Nah, this was a funny one. I like it. I love, I love the part where he almost built. Uh, and I, I hope that the criticism that I give helps you to improve your play and to continue with odd strategies. I really value the community that we are building and just the Age of Empires community in general. I think mid-level ELO in which I fall well, mid or low, it depends on uh, if I'm doing crazy strategies or not. If I played meta, I would definitely be in the low elo category. Are totally underrated. I'm not talking about low elo legends. I want to bring 900 to 1700 play into the mainstream because I think that's very relatable to a lot of you. A lot of you are in that ELO range. And you know, even if you're outside of that ELO range and you have a very cool strategy, I know for example, uh, Penguin Joker has some really cool strategies. I know that he's only around 600 ELO, but I love seeing him grow as a player. Or maybe you're in the 2200 range and you do a crazy strategy like uh, the Huang Rush, for example. Also love seeing that. Just drill time stop with the Berber Vill Rush, man. That stuff is nasty. Anyway, whatever your cup of tea is, whatever your flavor of Age of Empires, just remember, keep walking, keep enjoying, keep doing you. Pooplord out. <laughs>